Let's take a look at evaluating functions. Take a look at our first problem here. We got f of x is equal to 8x minus 3. And we want to find f of negative 4. Now the steps are always the same for evaluating a function. We go through and replace our variable with parentheses. So I'll put parentheses here where the x was. Everything else remains the same. The 8 stays the same, the minus 3, we just replace the x with a set of parentheses. Now whatever is inside the parentheses right here is automatically what you're going to put in right over here. So we'll put a negative 4 in there. Well, 8 times negative 4 gives us negative 32 minus 3. Negative 32 and negative 3 gives us negative 35. And that's our answer. Let's take a look at another example. We've got f of x is equal to negative 3x squared minus 5x plus 2. And we want to find f of negative 2. Again, it's always the same. You go through, and everywhere you have an x, you put in parentheses. So we got negative 3 times parentheses squared minus 5 times parentheses plus 2. Notice everything remained. Negative 3 is still there. The squared is still there. The minus 5, the 2. Uh, we just replace the x's with sets of parentheses. Now whatever's inside of parentheses right here is automatically what we're going to put in over here. So now we'll put a negative 2 here and negative 2 here. Now, order of operations says we do the squared part first. So negative 2 squared gives us 4. Negative 5 times negative 2 is 10 plus 2. Negative 3 times 4 is negative 12 plus 10 plus 2 is 12. Negative 12 plus 12 gives us 0. Let's look at one more. We've got h of q is equal to 4q squared over q minus 3 and we want to find h of negative 5. Again it's always the same we go through and replace our variable with sets of parentheses. So we got 4 times parentheses squared over parentheses minus 3. Now whatever is inside the parentheses right here is automatically where we'll put in over here. So I'll put negative 5 here and I'll put negative 5 here. Well, negative 5 squared, negative 5 times negative 5 gives us positive 25. Negative 5, negative 3 gives us negative 8. 4 times 25 is 100 over negative 8. And top and bottom are both divisible by 4. Uh, 100 divided by 4 is 25. And negative 8 divided by 4 is negative 2. So our answer is negative 25 halves. Now I could have simplified that right at this step, um, but uh, the uh, order of operations says do the top part completely, do the bottom part completely, then handle the fraction. So that's why I, I stuck to the, the steps there.